Are you tired of the typical libraries with conventional music that makes you feel mad? Introducing Lyrics.com, the music website made for and by minds like you. Our team are lifelong musicians and producers in love with music. Search the Lyrics music catalogs and find music with guaranteed originality. Mark the difference with music of signature at lyrics.com. Cut nerve endings Daydreaming Has lost its appeal Moving the runaway Without weighted chains Only look Forward to steal Remember morning fades To nightmare misery This is Venus The song And um, the song is by Tony Leo, who we have here with us to talk about his music. So, great pleasure for us. Hi, Tony. How is it going? Uh, hello. Yeah. Um, hi. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks to you. This is um, this is such a great song. Uh, it has a lot of depth. And the moment that you start listening to it, um, you know, it has very deep tones and a very profound, uh, you know, very, um, you get like uh, surrounded with this kind of uh, theme. It's, it's very, very special. So, um, why don't oh, wow, you take thank the, you. <laughs> absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Why don't you take the chance and, uh, you know, talk to us about... Uh, the the creation of this song, songwriting, and and everything around um, you know your your music uh, career. Okay, yeah, uh, sure. Well, first off, again, thank you for having me. I'm Tony Leo, and I'm a singer songwriter. And um, yeah, I've been writing music for over like 10 years, just playing, writing, and uh, recording it. And and yeah, uh, that song Venus is a fairly new one that was released back in March of this year. And uh, it just luckily came like naturally. Like I was just like working on stuff one night, and uh, I just had this melody like in my head, and just started playing around. And eventually, like a few days later, like the whole thing came together. Wow. And during the whole like, the recording, I was actually making like a new EP like at the time. And we were in like the studio. It was me like and my uh, friend Chris, who has basically done like all my music for the past like. Five years at the at this point, and uh, we were almost done for the day. And I just said, "Hey, do you think we can record this?" And he's like, "Yeah, sure." And yeah, the whole song was basically done like in one full day. So, and um, I just figured, yeah, like I might as well put this out like as like an in between because because I was still working like on an EP. And uh, when when I like put it out like on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube, and all that stuff too, I was actually pretty surprised. At how much people liked it like it was just like wow people must really like this tune so i guess i did something right so yeah you do very right and the, the, the story reminds me a little bit of that one of the everlong you know like uh, oh, hey, oh yeah 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 right? yeah like dave Grohl was just like messing around one day and just like came up with everlong <laughs> exactly and that was that was really <laughs> that was really a song that made them uh yeah like Yeah, big meant. and all that stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I hope But that's this... well, like all the good, the great tunes could come from. Just like you, 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 like, you just like mess around one day, and then boom, it just comes to you. So exactly, exactly. It's 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 a recurrent uh, topic here in these interviews that um, it feels like these songs uh, already existed somewhere else, and they need like a capacitor or vehicle to to come into reality. They choose their, their their songwriters and their authors. Looks like um, yeah. this is a very cool story. I really like it. And um, <clears throat> uh, you know, there's more stuff that you can tell us about. Is, is there any inspiration behind the lyrics? And uh, yeah, oh. sure. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, please go ahead. No, yeah, yeah. Well, first off, yeah, the song is like very abnormal already because uh, it's in like a like a very abnormal tuning because 
yell, you yell like on, you yell like on the rhythm. I tune like the top three strings down one whole step. So it, yeah, like so, like it has like this very like open type feel to it. And I came up with that tuning back、uh, when I was in college, for like my tech class. And I、okay. and like yeah, yeah, like and like the whole project was like to make like your own like little EP. And like I wanted to make something different, so I was just noodling around like on the strings one night. And I and I figured maybe if I tune it down a certain way, it would be different. And I just came I came up yeah, yeah like with that tuning and. That tuning has been very kind to me. I've written like a lot, like of like different songs, yeah, with that tuning, and、uh, and I knew that I wanted it to be mellow and everything like that too. Like, and, but like have like a little edge to it as well. So like, yeah, like in the verse and intro, like it's very mellow type thing, and then like when it hits like to the chorus and the think I see you Venus, it gets like punchy, heavy, raw, and all that stuff too. So yeah, yeah, and.、Uh, And、uh, yeah, the story behind like the whole theme and lyrics, and everything too. Like you know, like the whole like term,、uh, men like are from Mars and women are from Venus. Okay. It's basically it's basically telling just like as human beings, like we always try to figure out what like we're is, is thinking, and、uh, sometimes we're right and sometimes we're wrong. So it's basically like the guessing games is like see like your, your your true like human nature and stuff like that. Beautiful, yeah, nice. I'm interested to in know more. So this tuning, this special tuning, what is it like a whole octave、uh, down, but still E?、Uh, uh, yeah. So、uh, it's it basically like yeah, the top three yeah like strings. So originally like the E, B, and G strings are tuned down one whole step. So yeah, like the E like it's tuned down to like D, and then the B is tuned down to A,、okay. and the G is tuned down to F. And like the bottom three strings, yeah, like stay like in like in yeah the standard tuning. So essentially, it's like more like of an open like type thing. Nice. Wow. Yeah, very, like that makes sense. <laughs> that it does, but it's really cool. I'm gonna try it myself. And、uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, like、um, I got like I got like the whole like, inspiration behind that.、Uh, do you know like the artist?、Um, yeah, like. Nick Drake? No.、Uh, yeah, well, he was like a British like singer songwriter from like the early '70s type thing, and like he would like always like tune like his guitar in like these weird shapes and patterns and tunings that like makes each song like different like in their own regard.、Okay. And and when I read about that, I was like,、oh, that's interesting. So. When I was just tinkering around, I, I figured I might as well try it. Even if I break a string, I'm gonna try it. So, and yeah, that's where that tuning came from, and yeah, that's the <laughs> that's the origin behind that one. Yeah, I like it. Very cool story. So, talking about、uh, influences,、uh, who, who would you tell are your major influences? Well, obviously. If it wasn't for the Beatles, I would never start playing music. So yeah, that's like the big, like top of the mountain type thing. Okay. And and、uh, as I got older, I got first off, I was mainly like into rock when I was younger, like Led Zeppelin, The Who, and all that. Yeah, like all that rock power stuff. And like as I got older, I got more into like harder rock and all that stuff, just like Van Halen and just like. Just like I wanted to be like a Van Halen so bad, just like playing like all those crazy solos. But <laughs> yeah, like when I first started playing, I was not the greatest player. So like, I, I like everybody else. I mean, you, you become yeah, yeah, the more you're playing. Well,、like. first, like no one, no one can match a Van Halen playing. So yeah. Uh, so like as I got more like, into playing, I I lean more towards like the rhythm aspect, trying to be like a good like rhythm player and like all that stuff too. And that's when I got more like into punk, like the like the Ramones, and, yeah, like Sex Pistols, and like all that like underground、uh, New York scene type stuff.、Nice. And um, and uh, when I got like into college, I started like going to more like jazz, like indie type territory with like、okay. going into like. Different chords and like different、uh, ways of writing and everything too, and that and、uh, as I started to like open up more, yeah, like I started to like think about like maybe like take a little bit of like the rock, take a little bit of like、uh, like indie, and like try and make like a hybrid type thing. So 
when I came up with the Tony Leo moniker, mm-hmm. I came I came up with it when I was uh, <clears throat> a junior in college, and um, I was just like looking up old videos of like David Bowie and like and like just just yeah yeah you guys like his whole like way that he would change himself into like all these different characters from like these artists to like the thin white duke and all that stuff too and i thought maybe i maybe i should make a character based around like this like way i'm writing now and uh and i was just thinking about names it's like okay what's a good small name and and i read once that like one of the alternate italian means for lion is leo so l-i-o mm-hmm. i've heard tony leo so quick effective and that's how it came to be for all that <laughs> that's very good very 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 cool story <clears throat> um you know it sounds to me that you have like a very eclectic uh taste for music taste. And it, it, yeah. uh, it shows i believe it shows on your music what are your you know what is your does your catalog look like do you have many more songs do you have an album what uh, <laughs> uh yeah yeah like i laugh about that because yeah i have a, I, 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 yeah like over the last like four years i think i put out a good playing of tunes like i have about like um five eps and i have one full length album that like was released back in 2019 and um and uh I really consider like the start like on my music career was in like of August of 2018 when like I wrote like three like very good songs. They were called Boss Again, Weird Just Beautiful and Wasted Love. And they were all like on this EP called Leo that I made like with my friends and like it was made uh like in the summer before I went back to school and like when I was really really like getting into like the whole Tony Leo moniker and everything too. So that's yes, that's when I view it like as my starting off point at, in terms of being like a real like artist and everything like that too. And then since then, I just haven't stopped writing and playing up tunes and, sh- and stuff. So, cool. and um, uh, yeah, like the album was done as far as, as far as like a next chapter type thing, because I was done with school. I figured I, I, I have like enough tunes to release like one full length. So let's see where that goes and everything. And it came out pretty good. I'm very proud of it. And, um, All like of the music is on my YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, and basically everywhere else. Yeah, like under Tony Leo, so you can just look it up anywhere. Definitely, we definitely will. Um, what is the title of the album? Uh, the album title was called uh, "The Alien Punk Journal." <laughs> what is? Wow, and, that's so cool. What? Say it again. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Like I said, sorry. Uh, so, like, yeah, like it, it basically has two means. Like, uh, one, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like sort of a funny story. Uh, yeah, like I was on summer break, and uh-huh. and like um, I used to work at like yeah this market, and I went there, and one night my old coworker saw me, and uh, my hair had grown out a little bit, and like it was a real little uh, like Robert Smithy. Hey, yeah, from the Cure type ish yep. thing. Yep, yep. Uh, so, uh, so she looked at me and she dead said, uh, "You look like an alien punk." And <laughs> I and that and forever, and that forever like stuck like in my head. And I was like, "I'll take that." And and the whole alien punk journal thing was uh, all the songs. Well, the main songs that I've written throughout the last few years have been like in this old writing journal that I, I first got uh, my second year of college. And it used to be like my notebook for, uh, like, yeah, like a uh, computer type class. And like, <laughs> and once the class ended, like I started writing like songs like in this uh, notebook journal. So, and I still have it to this day. I, I think I have like at least five pages left until awesome. it's completely filled. So yeah, that's where like the whole title came from. I love it. I love it. I love also this the the, the fact that you're using uh, pen and paper and. Uh... Yes, yeah. You, you should, uh, yeah, you I, definitely I mean, keep like, that journal for the future. It might, it might become a collector's. Oh uh, uh, yeah, like sell for like five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't know. We don't know. Uh, but uh, but I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen like in the future? I mean, like this business that we're in, it's it's it, it's weird 
So like, who knows what will happen? I'm just happy with what like I'm doing now, and just like keep on playing and like releasing stuff that I like. So. Which is the main thing, and um, and I love that. I love the fact that um, and um, this is probably one of the reasons we're talking. I, I'm more interested in um, you know individuals like yourself that actually are 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 doing. I'm making music because for. For no particular with no particular expectation of reward, so you, you have a passion to make songs, and once you make a good song, that is that is all the reward. That's the reward enough um, to keep to keep on go, keep on going. And um, yeah, of course. And like I view it as like it's something that I'm good at, like. Uh, Growing up, I was like the loner type kid, like, uh, and like, I am like, it's, it's been shown here that like, I do have, yeah, 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 like a little stutter thing. So that basically shut me off from like socializing as much. So I was always like, like a daydreamer and just like creating just like random stuff. And eventually that turned to music and, uh, and yeah, it's helped me just like I project all my thoughts and everything out into the world and everything so if I always say if you have a talent like definitely go for it and like expand your creativity and like helping like get like your voice out into the world and everything that's a fantastic message I love it um okay Tony Leo uh you know such a great pleasure speaking about messages um You know, I normally like to to ask artists uh, if you had a uh, message to give to your younger uh, younger version of yourself. What would that be? Uh, just like try not to overreact to like a lot of stuff. <laughs> just like uh, life is just strange. Like I always say this yeah, 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 to myself and like as a half joke, but just like life is strange, but the weird is beautiful so you just just take like all the punches and just like keep like your head yeah like hell up high and they'll be good yeah like and bad just like keep going forward just keep going forward so yeah i love it i like it um yeah but i just put that like on a t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> uh okay Tony Leo, uh, this is Venus. We're gonna we're gonna continue to enjoy this this wonderful song. Uh, you know, all the best, and uh, hope uh, we'll talk again soon. And keep that. No, yeah, sure. Oh, oh keep yeah, that we'll keep, uh, like, <laughs> keep that journal well, 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 and um, open a new one. <laughs> I will. I will. Uh, and yeah, like I think I'll say this wrong. You yeah, you yeah, on here now. Tomorrow, I'm going back into. The, the studio to work on like new songs like for a brand new EP that will be out fairly soon so I can say that right here awesome awesome uh, more stuff more stuff to come uh, please yeah keep us updated you know shoot me a message uh, whenever I will he's, whenever yeah. he's ready uh, okay right yeah okay tell right, me, yeah know, like is... and thank you once again for having me I really do appreciate it thank oh you oh my god no no our pleasure really thank you very much <laughs> Okay, this is Tom Leo and this is Venus. Let's enjoy it and until the next one. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you very much. of the typical libraries with conventional music that makes you feel meh. Introducing Lyrics.com, the 
music website made for and by minds like you. Our team are lifelong musicians and producers in love with music. Search the Lyrics Music Catalog and find music with guaranteed originality. Mark the difference with music of signature at lyrics.com.